Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your weekly reading for Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the week of April 8th through the 15th. During the total solar eclipse, uh, new moon in Aries, this is your eclipse week reading. And let's tap into your energy to see what is going on, what you can expect. We are also in Mercury retrograde, so expect some revelations some very harsh truths, perhaps, and the Ten of Swords flies out as I say that. I'm also feeling that there will be, you know, people, places, emotions, long forgotten and put away uh, situations, experiences from the past that maybe you did not want to come up. Even something that you may have forgotten about, right? Now, remember, it can be a good memory. It can be a bad memory. But if it is something that is holding you back or something that you're still carrying energetically, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, the universe is getting ready to bring it on up to the surface. So if you haven't caught your eclipse season reading, I will link it up here along with your playlist as I always do. And let's see what else you can expect this week ahead. Because we do start off with very strong energy. Powerful eclipse energy. You can use it to your advantage. However, know that any of your manifestations uh, will definitely be packing a punch. So make sure you know what you're doing if you are looking to manifest something with this new moon. So, Ten of Swords, Four of Swords, Five of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Two of Wands, and the Eight of Wands. So, you could be experiencing exhaustion, money worries, scarcity mindset, fears about not being able to make enough money, not being able to be fully supported, uh, whether in your career, in your household, especially if you are with a partner who is the breadwinner, who is the money maker, and you're having these feelings of, I don't want to be codependent with them. I don't want to have to be, you know, constantly worried about, do I bring enough to the table? The roles can be reversed as well, Leo. Remember, this is a general reading. So take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Uh, it could be you who's embodying this king of pentacles energy and maybe you're thinking of putting an end to codependencies a marriage a partnership especially in business ten of swords right above the king of pentacles uh, this can indicate that your ability to make the type of money that you had hoped for is not really working out in your favor there is um, i heard a glitch here okay uh, if you're feeling like you're not as supported as you had hoped for, or maybe there's some sort of injustice or discrimination in your workplace, I feel like you're weighing out your options. You may have been, what I'm hearing is you may have been put like on a leave of absence. You may have been written up, um, feeling like someone maybe have wanted to put you on a leave, maybe had wanted to find a way to let you go, uh, to fire you. So I feel again, and I just heard spirit say it be your own people. Okay. So sometimes you feel like the people that you've trusted the most that maybe, uh, you thought you can trust with something is actually the person that mm, highlighted a specific situation that put you into this energy. Now, again, this isn't for everyone, but if you find yourself experiencing that in the workplace, just know that there are ample opportunities. It does feel like you're at a crossroads, but it also feels like you've got to make a decision quickly, especially if you have, you know, um, a long list of bills and investments and children and partner and spouse. And you're just like, I need to recover. I need to recuperate that type of money. I need to weigh out my options financially. I need to figure out a way to get out of this feeling of not being supportive of, you know, being left out in the cold. I need to, I just heard the words shiver. Like it affects you to your core. Now with the four of swords right above the two of wands, it's definitely that opportunity for you to be like, oh, okay, you want to write me up? You want to give me some days off? You want to suspend me? You want to let me go? 
Uh, I feel like it's in your best interest to take advantage of this break, of this time, of an opportunity for you to release yourself of the stress, of the fear, of the worry. Sometimes this is actually a very powerful opportunity for you to be redirected towards something better. So Spirit said, stop feeling sorry for yourself. Stop feeling down on your situation. You do have options here, although it does feel like you're at a crossroads. This is the perfect opportunity for you to really contemplate what's your next move. I'm hearing you've never had a problem making money. You've never had a problem getting a job, a career. If this feels like a speed bump or a wrench in your plans, I feel like you will come up above very, very quickly. Now, in terms of love and relationship here, I do feel like there, there is a, for some of you anyway, it's not everyone, there is a possibility of a separation. You may already be in separation uh, and you are trying to figure out how to uh, reconnect, reconcile, rekindle. For some of you, not all of you, for others of you, you're trying to plan your next move in terms of how can I live a more sustainable life by myself on my own without that person's contributions, income, support, whatever it could be, especially if you are looking to be possibly a single parent. I, um, I'm in my mind's eye is showing me the justice card. So we'll see if, um, that card comes out, but I do feel like if this is a time where either arguments words things are said this is like crazy endings to a relationship and it's not out of the blue okay this isn't like all of a sudden they're telling me they want to separate they want to break up they want to move out they want to divorce this is like a long time coming leo if you've been in this situation where there's been some really rough interactions and yes even altercations is what i heard um but but it's kind of like a part of you is just like, I never thought I'd be so happy to just have this time alone to breathe, to think, to not feel pressured. I'm feeling like this heavy, heaviness heaviness over my chest because I it feels as though some of you even felt like you couldn't breathe in a certain connection, marriage, partnership, relationship situation. I don't necessarily feel that there are a lot of children involved in terms of your children. It could be uh, whether or not you're questioning, do you see yourself uh, having children with this person? And if you don't, I feel like you're even thinking like, then what the heck am I doing here? Um, there's a lot coming through for you, Leo. So bear with me. Uh, clarify this 10 of swords, four of swords and five of pentacles. Let's have additional that four of cups just peeked through. Let's have additional clarity because I feel like it's with the light, there is also dark. Okay, so there is an opportunity for optimism. So some of you have already gotten through this energy knowing that this is what awaits for you. Others of you, you may still be struggling with this very heavy, stressful, you know, emotionally and mentally, physically depleting energy. But this King of Pentacles, Two of Wands, Eight of Wands, it's giving that that glimmer of hope. It's giving you're going to bounce back a whole lot stronger. Mm, see, I'm telling you, I know what I'm telling you. Spirit gave me that loud and clear. The bounce back is going to be stronger and better than ever. I freaking love that for you, Leo. It's definitely feeling like well-deserved, especially after seeing that Ten of Swords, Four of Swords, and Five of Pentacles. What else can Leo expect? Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Uh, this is being very blunt, straight, and direct. No more mincing words. It's like, you know what? I'm done. I've had it. It's time to do me. It's time for me to create the life that I want. And unfortunately, I feel like some of you have these very strong realizations um, and serendipitous moments, epiphanies that are being like, what the F am I doing here? And what the F have I been doing here for as long as I have? Whether that's in business or in love, FYI. <laughs> because if you aren't working to the, you're working yourself to the bone for a person, a company, an entity that does not value you, that really sees you as expendable. Why are you giving so much? Seriously. I know sometimes people look at those that do the bare minimum and get away with, you know, doing the bare minimum while you work yourself to the bone. And it's like, but why? 
well, are you getting paid extra? Are, are, is, there some, is there some sort of incentive for you to sacrifice your own health and well-being, whether mental, physical, emotional, because they pay your rent, your mortgage, your car notes, they put food on the table? So what if you can do that and still take care of yourself without overextending yourself, without giving yourself burnout, without risking your health and well-being? Would you change the way you live your day every day? Especially work, love, whatever it may be for you. And what did I tell you? I completely saw it in my mind's eye. It's like, I said it. We'll see if, if the justice card comes out. Because it's about effing time. It's about effing time. Things start moving in your favor. Wrongs being made right. That's been a very common theme for a lot of people. Is you know, spiritual, karmic, energetic, financial, relationship, connections, wrongs being made right, whether in your favor or because you had an epiphany of once upon a time, you may, ha may have messed up or said something wrong that put you in some sort of predicament or that put you in a situation where you felt things were unjust, not in your favor. Things backfired, right? Look at that. Common colors here. It's the justice card and the door to value. Another four card, by the way. So card number 31 here. But the justice card and the door to value, very similar colors. Red for being, you know, like your base chakra, your root chakra, very grounding. But also... Be careful with your temperament, with anger, because red can be like you seeing red. In this case, it feels as though you may have been seeing red for far too long because you felt unjust. And now, now you're feeling like you're being more grounded. Now you're feeling like things are in your favor. And the door to value is that energy of uh, knowing your worth and knowing that it's about damn time. <laughs> You start receiving, you know, your worth, your value, appreciation, and not depreciation, you know? I do feel that whatever this is for you, whether this is being appreciated and valued in a romantic connection, friendship, but also by an employer, or if you are an entrepreneur, attracting the right clientele. And not people that are constantly hounding you for freebies and discounts and not valuing you because that's also a sign of disrespect. Moonology card for this eclipse season, for the new moon, total eclipse and Mercury retrograde. And it's what's <laughs> balanced spirituality and practicality. Full moon in Pisces. I feel like pulling one more. When I think of balance, I think of the scales. I'm telling you. Wrongs being made right, things being balanced and in your favor. I feel like there's more to this though. So there is this energy of spirituality and practicality like this. Feeling energetically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, energetically depleted or being much more grounded and practical in the way you move. And as you allow forward movement and momentum, doors start opening up you know, the right people open up, networking, your manifestations are coming through loud and clear is what I'm saying. But this is what's keeping you stuck because you still have to work through it. Those of you that have already worked through it, just know that this is what you have to look forward to. This right here, this right here, and bring love into the situation. And I'm hearing it's self-love because it's knowing your worth, your value. New moon in Aquarius, which we do have Aquarius energy here with the Queen of Swords. But remind yourself that when you are worthy, when you feel loved and appreciated, but start with yourself. Love and appreciate yourself, your value, your self-worth, what you bring to the table. And have the discipline to make sure that you safe set boundaries, that you set the rules, the standard of how people can and cannot treat you. 
Okay, I'm sending you guys so much love. Have a wonderful week ahead, and we'll see what's in store for you next week. Once again, if you haven't caught your eclipse season reading, check it out. It's going to bring you a lot of information as we navigate through these energies because it goes beyond this week, okay? And there is your playlist. Your eclipse season reading is here. If you're not following me over on Instagram, I am at Virgo Angel Tarot, where you can find additional content as well as anywhere I'm going to be doing in-person readings and when I open up my calendar appointments. Have a great week. Take care. Bye.